After 43 years, Bill Gross is leaving the investment management firm PIMCO, which he co-founded in 1971. And why is that a big deal? Well, simply put, Gross is one of the few rock star money managers left on Wall Street. And he's by far the most important bond investor, too. What he does, and what he says, are as closely watched by the bond market as Warren Buffett's moves and pronouncements are by stock investors. Since 1987, he has managed the PIMCO Total Return Fund, the world's largest bond mutual fund. It's double the size of the next largest bond fund in the U.S., an index fund operated by Vanguard. And it's triple the size of the next largest actively managed bond fund. How did Bill Gross and PIMCO get to be so big? Performance. Over the past 15 years, Gross steered total return to a 6.2% average annual return, which placed it in the top 12% of its peers. That track record proved irresistible to investors, pushing the fund's net asset value to a peak of $293 billion in April 2014, according to Morningstar. But all has not been well for Gross and PIMCO in recent years. Performance has faltered, as Gross's fabled ability to forecast interest rates has faded. Over the past year, it ranks in the bottom 20% of its peers. Investors have been pulling their money out over the past year and a half. And increasingly, press coverage of Gross has gone negative. PIMCO CEO Mohamed El Arian served as co-chief investment officer with Gross, and El Arian was expected to succeed Gross at the firm, but he resigned in early 2014. A February Wall Street Journal story claimed there was tension between the two men leading up to El Arian's resignation, and described a tense atmosphere at PIMCO, where employees on the trading floor were discouraged from speaking with Gross or even making eye contact. Gross denied tension led to El Arian's departure, and he said he held others to the high standards he set for himself. In April, Bloomberg Businessweek ran a cover story on Gross' headline, Am I Really Such a Jerk? If that's not enough, the Wall Street Journal recently reported the SEC was investigating how assets were priced at one of PIMCO's smaller bond funds. The firm said it was cooperating with the SEC. Willing to look past Gross' recent setbacks? Well, you're in luck. He'll start managing the Janus Global Unconstrained Bond Fund at Janus Capital starting October 6.